Hi students, we are going to discuss about accuracy and precision. These are the two terms used while measuring some physical quantities. So what is the difference between accuracy and precision? Now accuracy means how far, how far we are, okay, how far we are from the true value, from a true value of your physical quantity and precision means how well we measure, how well, okay, how well we measure. For example, you are having an experiment to determine the acceleration due to gravity in the physics lab by using a simple pendulum, okay. You are taking different value of lengths. First you take L is equal to 50 centimeter and determine the value of G. Then 60 centimeter, then 70, 80, 90 centimeter and then finally 1 meter. So whenever you change the length of the pendulum, you find what is the value of the acceleration due to gravity. Now I will take for example the different values, okay, the observed, the observed values. So the observed values of G, so first time you are getting 9.1, okay, meter per second square. Second time you are getting 9.0 meter per second square. Third time you are getting 9.2 meters per second square. Again fourth time 9.3 meters per second square. And again you are getting 9.0 meter per second square. So five values uh, of uh, length you have assumed and for these different five values of length every time you are getting the value of g very close very close to each other only so 9.0 and 9.3 are not very far you are very close to the accurate value means not uh, close to the value which is an average of this can be taken as 9.1 so all these five observations are not very far they are very close to each other. That means uh, your measurement is precise. You have done correctly and all these uh, measurements taken are very close to each other. Therefore, it is called as a precise measurement. Okay. Now, you tell me what is the actual experimentally determined uh, value of uh, G on earth? It is 9.8 meter per second square. Is it not? So, the true value, I will write uh, here the true value. Okay. The true value of g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square so 9.8 meter per second square is a little far from each of these values therefore our measurements all the measurements though they are precise they are not accurate they are not accurate suppose if a student if a student has done the simple pendulum experiment and he has got uh, the value of G as uh, 9.75 meter per second square. Every time, every time, okay. Next time he is getting G equal to 9.79, okay. Then uh, next time 9.81, meter per second square. These three observations you see here, 9.75, 9.79, 9.81, all are very close to each other. So the observation is what is so precise. When all the observations are very close to each other, the measurement is precise. Also you can see that all these values are closer to 9.8. Therefore the observations are accurate also, precise as well as accurate. Whereas in the first case, all these values are very close to each other. So they are precise, but they are very far from 9.8. So they are not accurate. Have you understood? Okay, one more example, let us take one more example. So, we take the example of a refrigerator. A refrigerator is a cooling device. The inner portion of the refrigerator is at a very lower temperature than the surroundings. Say for example, okay, for example, I will take the inside temperature of a refrigerator. The inside temperature, okay, of a fridge, I will write refrigerator. That is fridge that is equal to for example 9 degree celsius this is the true value 
truly what is the temperature inside the refrigerator it is 9 degree celsius now i am going to measure the temperature with the thermometer so using a thermometer i am measuring the temperature so first time when i measure it is found that it is 10.1 degree celsius second time second time when i measure it is found that it is 10.2 degree celsius third time it is 10.0 okay degree celsius fourth time it is again 10.1 degree celsius four observations i have taken with the thermometer so whenever i measure the temperature of the inner surface of the refrigerator i find that the temperature measured are very close to each other very close to each other so my measurement of the temperature is precise it is precise measurement only but what is the true value of the temperature inside the refrigerator it is 9 degree celsius so these values though they are precise can it be accurate it cannot be because 9 is very far from this 10 and 10.1 and are very far that is why I can say that all these measurements are precise but not accurate. Understand? Suppose if you are measuring a second time, another person is measuring that T1 is equal to 9.1 degree Celsius and T2 is equal to 10.1 degree Celsius. T3 when he measures it is 10.5 degree Celsius and T4 is equal to 9.7 degree Celsius. For example, I have taken that cell. Every time when the person is measuring, you see that 9.1 and 10.5, they are very far, the far, far among themselves. Are these four observations precise first of all? They are not precise. They are not precise. Okay. Also, they are very far. They are very far from the true value. The average of these four, if you take, it will be greater than 10.5 only. Is it not? So, it is very far from the true value. So, they are neither precise nor accurate. One more example I am going to explain with the help of this diagram. See, now this, uh, uh, this Tokyo Olympics recently you must have witnessed that uh, shooting. Is it not a shooting with a rifle? So, the bullets are shot. The bullets are shot on uh, the center of this circle which is called as the bull's eye. This is called as bull's eye. Suppose if you are firing the bullet, the bullets which you strike now should be at the center. So more points will be given if you strike near the center of the bull's eye. For example, I will take, okay, for example, I will take a person, he is firing one bullet here. Here one bullet is fired. The second bullet is fired here. And the third bullet is fired here, okay. And the fourth bullet is somewhere, okay, fired here. Did you see that not even a single bullet has been fired closer to the center? So, this is not first of all accurate. This is not accurate. Did you understand that each bullet is very far from the bull's eye? Can it be accurate? So, it is not accurate. So, first of all, it is not accurate. Okay, this is not accurate. Okay, you see that the position of the bullets the position of the bullets, 1, 2, 3, 4, they themselves are not very close to each other. They are also far separated from each other. So, it is not precise also. It is not precise. It is not precise also. So, not accurate as well as not precise. I have taken this as an example, that's all. Now, let us take another example. Another example, some other person is firing the first bullet here. Second bullet here, third bullet here, and the fourth bullet here. Can you all see that uh, here a bunch of four bullets? Uh, all the four bullets he has uh, shot uh, very close to the same point only. So, his firing is uh, precise. It is precise because all these four bullets uh, are uh, shot at the same position, same point. So, it must be precise. But not even a single bullet is very close to the center of the bull's eye. So, all these four shots are not accurate. Therefore, this is precise, but it is not accurate. Okay, precise, but not accurate. One more case, let us take that four bullets are shot 
all these four bullets are very very close to each other and also they are very close to the true value that is to the center of the bull's eye so in the third picture can you see that all the four shots of bullet are very close to each other and also very near to that of the bull's eye so i will say that here all these four shots okay are precise as well as accurate accurate so from this what do we understand the word accuracy accuracy means how far we are from the true value of the measured quantity and precise means or precision means how well we measure understand i hope you must have understood the difference between accuracy and precision okay fine